In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to get the two new free RNG Dark Matters in Season 7 of NBA 2K23. My team, if you guys don't know who those are, the two free Dark Matters for the RNG in Season 7 is going to be Rick Smith's number one. He is going to be from all the online game modes. And then you do have Sean Elliott, who is going to be from the offline game modes. I still get a ton of questions on Twitter, sometimes on YouTube, but people asking, you know, what are the fastest ways to get these RNG cards? Which game mode should you guys be grinding? to give yourself the best chance to do so and then also later in the video i'll be going over their stats and their badges looking at their animations and just telling you guys which out of the two maybe both maybe neither that i think are really worth grinding for and just just a spoiler i think both these guys are actually going to be definitely worth grinding for but i'll look at them later in the video and go over their stats their badges and their animations so first one here want to talk about sean elliott because there's only going to be two different game modes to grind for this card he's going to be in triple threat offline every time you win a game there's a chance the vault can open and then there's a chance in that vault you do get dark matter sean elliott very rare i would say i would say t2 offline is probably the least least rewarding game mode a uh, game mode when it does come to vaults because i like rarely very rarely ever see people getting the rng card from t2 offline so that leaves you with the only other game mode to grind and that's going to be clutch time offline i found some decent success in clutch time offline getting the rng cards you can also grind for john havlicek who i think is a lot better than alan houston and you do get some pretty good prizes along the way so for sean elliott i definitely think it's going to be you know clutch time offline i think it really doesn't matter though it's most likely going to be really hard to get the sean elliott card for whatever reason i feel like the offline card is always so much harder to get even though sometimes i feel like in most cases it might actually not be as good as the online card but yeah 100 i would say Sean Elliott going to be worth grinding for in clutch time offline. I would say that's the fastest and just best game mode to grind for Sean Elliott. Not and now talking about Rick Smith. This is where there's so many different options and game modes to grind for the card. The first one here is going to be co-op. So very similar to TTO offline where it's only going to be three people, three players. But this time you got to play with real life people. You got to play, you know, with friends or with people you play with, you know, Xbox or PS, right? You got to go into a co-op. You got to play and get your wins. And then every time you get a win, you do have a chance for, I call it the co-op vault. Um, it it's, might not even be called the vault, but every single time you play on the competitive setting, because there's two, two different settings in co-op. There's the co-op setting, which is offline. So you still have to play with at least one more friend or someone online. You have to play at least with some other person, one other person, and then you go against CPUs, right? And then you can only earn the stuff on the right side of the screen. So you can like earn your win totals. You can go for the MT, the tokens, the award packs, the other stuff you get on the right. So you can still earn Mitch Rich by playing co-op you know the offline mode but if you want to get rick smith as you guys can see in the top right it says competitive only so you click x or square on playstation and now you can play the competitive game mode which is going to be against other real life players and every single one you get you do have a chance to open up the vault i call it the vault it's not really like a vault animation it kind of just pops up if you do get a prize there's a chance you can get one of those two packs the new fuego packs the generational promo packs and then rick smith as well so those are the three things you can get from the vault and that's one way to get rick smith the other way is going to be from the unlimited vault these are rng cards so they're not from a specific game mode they're going to be in the vaults for all the different online and offline modes so rick smith is going to be here in unlimited that's the second uh, second way to get him the third way is going to be in clutch time online he's going to be on the wheel spin so after every single win you get in clutch time online as you guys can see you can spin the wheel and he's going to be on that wheel spin and then the last game mode to get rick smith from is going to be from tto online i guess you could say this is his game mode i guess because he's at the top um and you actually can grind for him like playing you know games where these other game modes are you know in the vault alongside other prizes where he's pretty much the main prize in tuto online so those are the four different ways to get the free dark matter rick smith and now going from the best game mode to the worst you know to get the card the fastest way or the best way i think number one is easily the best way to get this card is going to be through a co-op when i've gotten danny ferry when i've gotten i don't think i got steve smith on this account let me see what free cards i do have because i know i got danny ferry gilbert arenas that was a, that was the other one i think i was thinking i was yeah gilbert arenas i got danny ferry the both times i got those cards were from co-op where's danny ferry is he already in my lineup am i blind where's danny ferry but yeah danny ferry he's somewhere here man like i'm completely blind right now but danny ferry do i not have danny ferry on this account anymore what happened to my danny ferry what okay now i'm kind of confused because where did my danny ferry go Am I, did I get him on a different account? I have Danny Ferry on this account. Did Danny Ferry disappear? 
Okay, I'm so confused. I'm not sure what happened. I swear I had Danny Ferry. Is he not in my collection or am I absolutely blind? Hold on. I know people are like, am I absolutely blind? He's not in my collection. What? Okay, I'm probably completely blind and just missing something. But anyways, the two times I've gotten Danny Ferry and I got Gilbert Arenas was from co-op. So I definitely think it's going to be the best game mode to grind for. You know, I got Danny Ferry and then I also did get Gilbert Arenas. So if you guys are looking to grind for Rick Smith, I would 100% recommend co-op. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, I don't have people to play with. And that 100% makes sense. So if you don't have people to play with or you don't want to play co-op, I would recommend trying to, though, because I think it's easily by far the best game mode to get these RNG dark matters from but if you can't the next best game mode i think is most likely going to be triple threat offline uh triple threat online i should say because you get unlimited chances like you can just keep playing the boards over and over and over again there's no like you know once, once you get to 100 wins and you get this uh dark matter point guard you can still earn vault spins, but there's nothing else really to play for except for Rick Smith. So the second best game mode, in my opinion, is going to be from Triple Threat Online. It's still going to be super hard and rare to see this card pop up on boards, and then you actually have to land properly and get the card. So it's still going to be super hard to do, but I would say Triple Threat Online is the second best game mode and the fastest, the second fastest way to get Rick Smith. And then number three and four, I both don't think are great ways. Clutch time and Unlimited. Like Unlimited is by far the worst way to get Rick Smith. It's probably the best game mode to grind though. Like you probably get the most rewarded. Like you get Artist Gilmore, you get a Galley Super Coach down here, so you get really good prizes. You know, you get so many Hoff badges you get Galaxy Super player so it's a really good game mode to grind I just don't think for Rick Smith necessarily so I'd say the third best is going to be Clutch M Online and then the fourth best is going to be from my team Unlimited but now let's hop over to 2KDB and I'll show you guys their stats their badges their animations and who do I think you know like how good do I think they're going to be for being free cards so now hopping over to 2KDB to look at Rick Smith and Sean Elliott. The first card I do want to check out is going to be this free Dark Matter Rick Smith, who's a 7'4 center with a 7'7 wingspan. His his height and um, his player model, I should say, in-game is absolutely ridiculous. Like, he looks 7'5 or 7'6 in-game. Like, he looks super, super tall. And all around is going to be one of the best center cards in my team. He's got that height. He's going to be able to guard guys like Yao Ming, Kristaps, Dikembe, Manute Bulls, Tacos, all these tall cards in the game. He's going to be that free Yao stopper that we've been waiting for. And I would say it's definitely the best free RNG Dark Matter that we've gotten so far in Season 7. I do think he's probably better than Sean Elliott, but not to say that the Sean Elliott card is necessarily bad. I think he's a pretty good free shooting guard. 6'8 with a 6'11 wingspan all around. Just a solid shooting guard card. He's got a pretty good jump shot. He's got solid dribble sigs, the trace size up, the Kobe escape, quick drops off one, front clutches. His defensive tendencies are pretty good. Like all around, both these guys are elites, but I think Rick Smith is on that different type of level. A guy that can play in the best squad in my team. So I definitely think he's going to be the guy to be grinding for if you do like playing online. And once again, co-op is definitely the fastest way to get the Dark Matter Rick Smith. But hopefully it's fitted to help you guys out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and sub down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.